Thank you for choosing Sinovision products. Today I will introduce the function and operation of the lung nodule compare LNC application plugin. The LNC plugin is based on the image data of one patient's two exams obtained in different times. Also based on the lung nodule analysis result of the first time examination. It extracts lung nodules from the results of the two examinations matches the nodules and compare them in order to describe the position and shape of the nodules as well as to calculate the change of volume of the nodules and doubling time lnc can effectively evaluate follow-up exams and generate the lung nodule comparison imaging reports in the patient management list select the two exams of the patient for lung nodule compare Click the right mouse button and select the add process. Then select the lung nodule comp to enter the LNC application interface. Or we can enter the lung nodule compare interface by clicking the LNC icon in the system function switch panel at the lower right corner. When loading the patient to the LNC interface, the series selection dialog box will pop up. The previous exam series is on the left. And the comparison exam series follow-up exam series is on the right for us to select. Click the select button on the left and select the soft tissue thin layer image series from the previous exam. Click OK and then select the soft tissue thin layer image series from the comparison exam. Click OK. Through the switch button in the middle, the previous exam series and the comparison exam series can be switched. After the series selection is completed, click OK below to enter the LNC interface. After entering the interface, an automatic lung extraction dialog box will appear. After the extraction is completed, the previous exam automatically show the extracted and marked nodules according to the analysis result recorded last time at the same time the nodule name is displayed in the original nodule list and the corresponding parameters are displayed in the axial image viewport such as nodule name diameter volume ct value etc through the preset window width and window level or, using the keyboard F3 shortcut key, we can adjust the loaded image to lung window for nodule analysis and comparison. In the LNC interface, the left side is the view window area, including the previous exam images, and the comparison exam images, the axial, coronal, and sagittal images. The partially enlarged nodule image. Nodule via image. On the right side is the functional toolbar area. The patient information is displayed at the top. Below are general tools, including default, pan, zoom, window width and window level, 2D, bookmark. The axial, coronal, and sagittal icons displayed below can change the image display modes in the view windows. The load sequence icon. Click it, we can choose to load the previous exam series and the comparison exam series. The manual nodule extraction icon. Click the icon to perform manual extraction of nodules. We will demonstrate the specific operations later. The set VOI parameters icon is for setting the size of the bounding box. The original nodule list. The nodules detected in the previous exam will be automatically identified and displayed in this list when the images are loaded. Click the delete button to delete any selected nodules. The follow-up nodule list. The manually extraced follow-up nodules are displayed in this list. The delete function works the same for follow-up nodule list. These tools are for editing the extracted nodules. 
Nodule matching list. Display matching results. Manual matching. Auto matching. Clear all matching results. The overlay icon is to set whether or not to display the four corner information. The crosshair icon is to set whether or not to display the crosshairs on view windows. The synchronously rolling icon. Click it. The images of the original series and the comparison series displayed in the larger window can be browsed simultaneously. After the images are loaded, the previous nodules in the original series are automatically extracted and identified based on the previous nodule analysis results. After the original nodules have been extracted, we manually extract the follow-up nodules. Browse the follow-up images. Find the level of the nodule. Click the manual nodule extraction icon. And click on the center of the nodule to dye color on it. The nodule is now extracted. And the parameter list is generated on the follow-up axial image too. Including nodule name. Diameter. Volume. CT value etc. At the same time, we can see the nodule is also displayed in the follow-up nodule list. If there are multiple nodules, we need to extract them one by one. If the follow-up nodule is extracted incompletely, or extra tissues are extracted other than the nodule, we can modify the extracted nodules through the nodule editing tools, including VOI modification, Magnetic ROIS modification. Freehand ROIS modification. Erase modification. Now let's demonstrate the specific use of each tool. VOI modification. Select the follow up series. Then click on the VOI modification icon. The MPA images will be enlarged. Drag the box to modify the size of the nodule. Click the OK button to complete the modification of the extraction. At the same time, we can see on the axial image, the parameter list is updated too. Magnetic ROIS modification. Select the follow-up series. Then click on the magnetic ROIS modification icon. On the partially enlarged nodule image, left-click to place control points along the nodule edge. Right click to finish the drawing of the nodule outline. Click the OK button to complete the modification of the extraction. At the same time, we can see on the axial image that the parameter list is updated too. Freehand ROIS modification. Select the follow up series. Then click on the freehand ROIS modification icon. On the partially enlarged nodule image. Hold down the left mouse key to draw the nodule outline. When the drawing is finished, release the left mouse key. Click the OK button to complete the modification of the extraction. At the same time, we can see on the axial image that the parameter list is updated too. Erase modification. Select the follow up series. Then click on the Erase Modification icon. On the partially enlarged nodule image, erase the redundant tissues. By erasing we have re-extracted the nodules. After erasing is complete. Click the OK button to complete the modification of the extraction. At the same time, we can see on the axial image that the parameter list is updated too. According to needs, if there are multiple nodules to compare and analysis, we can use the same method as above to edit and re-extract the nodules. After the nodules are extracted, we need to match them. Manual matching and auto matching can be used, and the matching results of nodules can also be deleted. Manual matching. In the original and follow-up nodule lists, 
select the nodules respectively, and click Manual Matching to directly match the nodules. And they are displayed in the nodule matching list. Auto Matching. After clicking Auto Matching, the previous nodules and follow up nodules will be automatically searched according to the positions of the nodules, and the matching result will be displayed in the nodule matching list. Clear all matching results. We can delete all the matching results of manual and automatic matching nodules. Or we can delete the matching nodules by using the delete button above the matching list. After the nodule matching is completed, click the display matching results icon. And the nodule matching results will be displayed in the view window on the left side. Here we can see the study date. Volume. Effective diameter. Area. Maximum diameter. CT value, the growth rate, and the doubling time, doubling days, the days required for the nodule to be double. The longer the doubling time is, indicates the slowlier the nodule grows. On the contrary, the shorter the doubling time is, indicates the faster the nodule grows. For example, the doubling time for this nodule is 212 days indicating that the nodule's growth rate is slow. If the doubling time is 20, 30 days, it means the nodule's growth rate is faster. After the nodules are matched and compared, we can adjust the opacity protocol of the nodule via image according to our needs. Double click on the protocol to pop up the opacity protocol settings window and select the suitable opacity protocol. Double click the left mouse button and click apply to adjust the opacity protocol of the nodule via image. Click the right mouse button to select to show the nodules only or to show the entire view. After the lung nodules are matched, if we need to save the image, select the image to be saved, such as the partially enlarged nodule image. Select it and click the Save button in the lower right corner to save the image. In the pop-up dialog we can select a save path. If we need to include a certain image in the report, after selecting the image, click Send to Report in the lower right corner to send the image in the report. After the nodule comparison and matching is completed, click the Edit Current Matching List item above the matching list to mark the position and shape of the original nodule and follow-up nodule and determine the severity. If there are multiple matching nodules, click the previous or next button to swift. For each matched nodules, we need to mark the position and characteristics of the original nodules and follow-up nodules and also describe the severity. Pressing this button, we can review the image displayed in the report. We can also delete images as need. Click the Send and Generate a Report button to generate a lung nodule image report. We can save and print it. The introduction of the LNC plugin is stopped here. Thank you for watching.